you today. I hope you're having fun. Today we're going to be doing graphy and we're going to be using all the skills that we learned throughout the videos to get our picture graph done. Have you ever poured a bunch of Skittles in your hand and wondered, hmm, I wonder which color has the most. That way I'll pick that color and I'll eat the most candy and give my brother the one that has the least or the fewest. Have you ever thought about that? I have. Graphing allows you to do that. You get to make all the information and then learn. Learn how many you have and whether you have more of one color or more of one flavor and which flavor has the least. Okay, so are you ready to get to that? I hope you are. Here we go. All right, Apple Preschoolers. So I have a graph here and it has numbers. At the bottom starts with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have colors. I have some Skittles. So when I pour them into my hand, right, there's a handful of Skittles. Before we get to the graph, we have to sort our Skittles. Do you remember how to sort? You're right. We learn how to sort by color, shape, or picture. We're gonna sort the Skittles by, what do you think? What do you guys do? Yeah, they're all the same, so I can't sort them by shape, but they're different colors. So we're gonna sort them out by colors. Okay, we're gonna do the reds down here, and we're gonna do green up here. Now that we sorted our candy, we're gonna count our candy. Are you ready? Let's see how many red we have. One, two, three, four. So how many red did we have? Four. Let's write that number down. So there's four red candy. And how many yellows? Can you think you can count it by yourself? Did you get two? Me too. So there's two. Now we have greens. Let's count the greens. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have the number seven. So now that we know how many colors of each, I have crayons here. They're the same color. So in our first bar that goes up, how many am I going to color? It's green. You're right. I'm going to color seven boxes starting from the bottom. We're going to count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven green Skittles. What color do I have next? Yellow. And how many did we have? Two. Oh, but I gotta change my color crack. Now we have yellow. Ready? We have one, two, and we're done. Our last color is red. And how many red did we have? Four. So ready? Let's count together. And we're gonna start from the bottom up. One, two, three, four. Now that we have all of our data or information, we can take a look at it. I want you to look at it for a couple of seconds or so without giving me any answers because I am going to ask you a question. So think and visually see what you have here. Can you look at it? There are bar graphs, yes. They're tall and some of them are short. So looking at this information, if you wanted to eat the most Skittles, which color would you pick? Huh, you're right. The bar that is the tallest, which is seven, is green. That has the most Skittles. Now, if you had a little brother or little sister that you didn't much care for, and you didn't want to give them that many skills. Which color should you give them? The shortest? You're right. This middle line here 
is the shortest. It's only two. <laughs> so, Apple preschoolers, this is what we use data or information. We get to graph it and then visually, without even counting, you don't have to know numbers, you can tell me which Skittles are the most, right? Just by looking at it. The tallest tower is green. Which one has not the most and not the fewest? Which one's in the middle? Well, we know that green is the most, yellow is the fewest, so obviously red is in between. It's in the middle. So if we put them in order, it would be first, second, and third. Great job, Apple Preschoolers. The next time you get candy that is colorful, see if you can practice some graphing and maybe give your brother the least amount of candy, huh? <laughs> see you later.